everyone, our topic today is discussing about personality. And our specific discussion is Big Five Personality Traits. But before we go further, let's go to know the meaning of the personality more detail. Firstly, personality is a branch of psychology. Secondly, it studies about variation of individuals' behavior. Thirdly, it refers to many patterns of human. Lastly, it is dynamic and influenced by the environment. The word personality came from Latin, that is called persona, which means mask. There is many theories and ideas about personality. However, in this topic, we focus on one theory that is Goldberg's Big Five Traits only. Ocean. Openness. Openness is how eager someone to try experiences. Conscientiousness. Conscientiousness is how concerned a person to be disciplined. Extroversion. Extroversion is how eager someone to socialize. Agreeableness. Agreeableness is how desirous someone to be friendly. Neuroticism. Neuroticism means how moody someone is. Openness to experience. Is a basic personality trait Dino thing receptivity to new idea and new experiences. There are two types of openness to experience which is low and high. Those with low level. Prefer familiar routines, people, and ideas, and can be preferred as closed-minded. They usually do not like to try new things just for the sake for having new experiences. They tend to be more conventional, and they are more set in their ways. A person who scores low in openness on a career test may excel in jobs that involve routine work and do not require creativity. People with high level of openness are more likely to seek out a variety of experiences, be more comfortable with unfamiliar, and pay attention to their inner feeling. They tend to exhibit high level of curiosity and often enjoy being surprised. Having a high level in openness is important in jobs that require creative thinking and flexible attitude. Next, what meaning of conscientiousness? Conscientiousness is a dimension that focuses on issues such as orientation, behavior, and impulse control. Two types of conscientiousness, that is high and low. In conscientiousness, the high types is more likely about the strength. And for the low types, it is more likely about the weakness. Example for high types is hardworking, neat, punctual and self-discipline. Examples for low types is messy, irresponsible, careless and lazy. Number three is extroversion. Extroversion is characterized by excitability, sociability, talkativeness, assertiveness, and high amount of emotional expressiveness. People who are high in extroversion are outgoing and tend to gain energy in social situations. And if anything happen around them, they feel refresh them and energy them after get them to another people. We can see the difference between extroversion and introversion. People who are low in extroversion tend to be more reserved and have less energy to expend in social settings. Social event can feel draining and introverts often require a period of solitude and quiet in order to recharge. Hi. What is an agreeableness? Is a personality trait manifesting itself in individual behavioral characteristic agreeableness divided by two, low and high agreeableness? High agreeableness has a great deal of interest in other people and cares about others. Low agreeableness is takes little interest in others and doesn't care about how other people feel. A person with low agreeableness someone who is disagreeableness. Lastly is number five is neuroticism. Individuals who score high on neuroticism are more likely than average to be moody and to experience such feelings as anxiety, fear and worry. People with low levels of neuroticism find it easier to remain calm. So in conclusion, we conclude that personality refers to the psychological classification of different types of people. Personality types are distinguished from personality traits, which come in different degrees. The study of personality is not a purely empirical discipline, as it brings in elements of art science and philosophy to draw general conclusions. The study of personality has a broad and varied history all the way in psychology with an abundance of theoretical traditions. The major theories include trait perspective, humanistic, biological, behaviorist, and social learning perspective. However, many researchers and psychologists do not explicitly identify themselves with a certain perspective. So, as mentioned, the ocean theory that we discussed so let's see the overview of ocean discussion. If you guys see the overall discussion, you can see that every each five of the ocean meaning is divided into two, that is high and low. So here, the division of each meaning of ocean. As you guys can see it as example, O that is openness, the high is creative and the low for openness is cautious. Next, 
high for conscientiousness is hardworking and the low is careless. And so on. Basically, Ocean that is Goldberg's five big traits is theory of personality classification of humans. So we are at the end of the topic. We really hope this video is informative for all. Thank you for watching, everyone.